Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. You know this is where greatness leaves, right? On today's show, we have got the Alejandro cast joining us virtually. And if you're a religious follower of the show, you should know that we have had the Oga at the top on the show before. And um, he's um, Samo Joe. Of course, you guys know him already. But what makes it better? We got three in the building. And let me start with the first person, which is Sam Ojo, which I introduced earlier. Sam is a Nigerian-American actor and producer. Sam produced a movie called Alejandro. Sam had produced other indie movies in the UK and US. Sam was born in a city well known for art and culture in Nigeria. This city is a major dying center and a UNESCO World Heritage. Sam's father was a renowned photographer in the 70s and there were numerous known dramatists in the city. Acting skill mostly became a basic natural talent for many children growing up in the city around the late 70s and early 80s, so you know, say so don't take. Sam decided to produce Alejandro to further put Nigerians' rich cultural heritage to the world. And yes, like I told you guys, we have three of them. Yes, you know, that's how we like to do it on the show. You know, we give you extra Jara, you buy one, you get one free. Yeah, so Autumn, Autumn, um, it's, which is Sophia, in the movie Alejandro, was born and raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and just completed high school. She's 17 years old. Autumn developed skills in acting and majorly on the live theaters, poetry, plays, broadways, and musicals. Autumn was given a role, Sophia, in the movie titled Alejandro to play the daughter of Alejandro. Autumn's heritage is from Philippines, but speaks Spanish and English fluently. More so than the casting director, ca um, cast her for the Spanish-speaking role. Um, Joshua Pineda, I hope I got that correctly, but feel free to correct me, Joshua. Joshua is a Mexican-American actor and was born and raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Joshua enjoys entertaining people and therefore decided to pursue a full-time career in acting through influences from friends and family. Joshua speaks fluent English and Spanish. Joshua can be in specific roles as Native American, Spanish, and as a mixed race, black and white. Joshua played Alejandro, a lead role in a movie released in 2021. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up for the Alejandro cast. Hey. Hi. How you guys doing? Hi, Hi everyone. <laughs> all right. All right. Hi, everyone. Hey, thank you, you for the introduction. All right, so the first question I have is, um, you know, there's, there's, I see a lot of diversity going on, you know. Um, Autumn is from the Philippines, he's Mexican-American, Joshua, and you're Nigerian. I don't know where the American came from. Yes, you're Nigerian-American, but me, I always call you Nigerian in my books. So I see a lot of diversity. How were you guys able to pull this together and work together and then bring out your different heritage in the movie, Alejandro? So let's start with you, Joshua. Um, um, yeah, I think, you know, we just working together and getting to know each other better, uh, getting to meet Autumn personally, talking to her, same thing with Sam. I think it, uh, really helped just get things in place. Uh, that's what really helped me the most to get to know them better before we started filming. All right. All right. So now to you, Autumn. Um, for me personally, I have not been exposed to a lot of African cultures before, so it was very interesting to me to hear a lot about the Nigerian culture, and I'm actually very grateful for it. All right. So are we, are we, should we be expecting you in Nigeria anytime soon? <laughs> well, I would hope so, yes. Tell me the craziest thing you've heard about Nigeria. The craziest thing I have read about Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know the craziest thing, but I believe there is this food that is called the fufu. That, is, that originates from Africa. It's called yes, the Yes, I've I heard about it. it a lot and it looks very delicious. Have huh? you tried it though? <laughs> I have not. I am waiting to. Mr. Sam Ojo, what are you doing? You should give out for food. Mr. Mr. Sam, <laughs> I, 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 I mean... No, I'm... he hasn't answered the question. Hey, oh, yes, ma'am. Sorry. So, your turn to answer the question. The okay, so... Three. So, uh, I think um, Autumn is so excited to be part of the uh, crew that we plan to bring to Nigeria and, you know, move around Africa to promote Alejandro. And of course, as we go along, I believe uh, autumn, we try to eat our fufu, 
um, Moi Moi, a four-year-old, which is yeah. part of what we actually displayed in the movie. Mm -hmm. And also, I think Autumn would like our jollof rice. So mm. I think I would Autumn as to eat jollof rice. <laughs> All right. I think so too. Oh, uh, Mr. Fun. Sam, I, I mean, being the, the captain of the ship and your beautiful, diverse, very talented ship, I, I must say that you must feel proud. Um, but I, wanna, I want us to discuss a little bit about the cinema options and what that's like for you in terms of executing this, this movie to the viewers. I mean, the, uh, the cinemas are a bit tricky. So well, I want to know what, what, what it's like for you in terms of COVID. Are you guys still trying to push for the cinemas? Because I know we're open in Nigeria. Or are you looking at a streaming platform? How is it going to be like? It's um, in, in the US, it's extremely very challenging. Mm. But I was following um, the Nigerian cinema, Omogeto, um, yeah. over $1 million. Yeah. So <laughs> I think that's a very promising uh, option for us. Mm. But we will probably look at the streaming uh, platform more than the theater. Right. Um, definitely, we would like it to be on the theater in Nigeria because we want the audiences in Nigeria, yeah. West mm. Africa, to participate. But um, in the US, particularly in Oklahoma, Texas, Utah, Wyoming, mm. you know, all those places, we will likely put it on the, on the online uh, streaming platform. Right. Okay. That's the way to go. Okay, um, this is for Joshua and Autumn right now. So, in the movie, you, um, Joshua, you played the lead role, Alejandro. So, I want you to like, walk me through it. How was Alejandro. It, saying, Alejandro, thank you. So, how was it like when you were presented with that script? How were you able to bring the character to life? So, same thing to Autumn. How, were you, how did you feel when you were presented with the script? And how, did you face any challenges while bringing the character to life? I just need to know. Um... All right. <laughs> um, a challenge that I definitely faced was, well, I am not Mexican or of Hispanic descent that I know of. So I did have to do a bit of cultural research to um, be respectful. And I did have to, I did have to bring back some knowledge from my studies since I am fluent in Spanish. But that was a little bit of a challenge for me. All right. So. Okay. I, I realize that um, you're quite young. Joshua, but... sorry, Joshua didn't answer oh, the okay, question. Oh, okay, sorry, my apologies. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, challenge for me, I would say, was, um, I don't know, just, I've personally obviously never went to prison before or jail, so just being around that environment felt very different, uh, trying to adapt and uh just how do, I, how do i how do i put this in the so like you know being being there and then not only that but my character doesn't speak fluent english or he doesn't speak any he's he's a hispanic character you know so that was another hard uh kind of challenging part for me because uh just doing acting in, in spanish was uh something different for me and uh, a really good challenge i think all right so like you said okay I, 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 as right, to this, actually, um, if uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when we went to the prison to shoot this movie, uh, it was a different uh, scene for many of us, particularly mm -hmm. people that have never been arrested before, people that mm -hmm. have never been to jail before, and then you were in the jail, like, real time. Criminals, with real criminals. A lot of policemen and stuff. So it was a, a little bit challenging for, for mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, the cast and the crew that were there. And also, if I must, you know, um, compliment what Joshua said, uh, Joshua uh, came in on the first day of the shooting, and we just told him that, hey, this is, this is your role, because the person that we casted for that role um, couldn't deliver the way we wanted. And then we just shifted that role to Joshua, because he had uh, the look of the face, and the uh, you could basically display that talent better. So we just gave it to him after, of course, taking the audition. All right, so April 1st is almost here, even though January seems like we're in, February, in, in uh, what's it called now, November already. 
we're still in January, but it feels like we're in November. <laughs> I don't know if you get that feeling over there as well. But um, what's the plan for April 1st, you know, releasing it and knowing that the capacity in the cinemas are really low? How do you plan to weather the storm you get? Like you said, Omogeto um, grossed over $1, billion, $1 million, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, Omogeto made a lot of money, and I think we, we have the capacity to make um, Way more. money from Nigeria as well. We, we spent a lot of money to bring the cast and the crew together, and uh, we used the best technology available, and it was shot with, um, it's, uh, you know, it's an Hollywood style. And we are bringing, we are trying to bring the gap between the Hollywood, the Hollywood, so that um, we can showcase our culture to the rest of the world, and at the same time showcase the the culture here to Nigeria. Now, I strongly believe that when this is released on the online streaming platform, a lot of more people we want to you know pay uh, to watch it. But yes, so. Definitely, there is a challenge because uh, in Nigeria, we are not really used to pay as you go uh, streaming in Nigeria. And, mm. you know, um, it, it's, it's a challenge, we, we have to admit. And uh, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to navigate through, we'll All be right. able to uh, <clears throat> get something done with that challenge. All right, so I don't know. See, we're interested in this dance competition for the Alejandro song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can dance to one thousand dollars is plenty money. You understand me? It's plenty money. <laughs> so, can we also dance? You know, yeah. enlighten the people about the competition coming up, the dance competition for the Alejandro song. Yeah. Okay, so so actually, yesterday I was discussing this with Joshua, and Joshua was asking me, oh. I'm the lead role in Alejandro. Do you want me to participate in dancing? <laughs> oh, Joshua, so we're on the I same page. One thousand dollars is clearing money. You don't need the money. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we we have this uh, competition going on, and I want everybody to participate. So if you are a good dancer, or you you have a uh, you are a choreographer, or you have a group that can dance. You can play the Alejandro song, dance to it, but make sure that you tag us. So you can tag us at Alejandro Movie. Or you can go to our website, or you can ash at Alejandro Movie. Once we see that, you chance you have the chance of winning $1,000. And this is a monthly thing that we, we are going to be doing until this movie is still with so that's I want to three, encourage the way that's four thousand dollars and the people here in the US to participate in that competition. All righty. So don't worry, you'll be getting our entries. I think after the show, right? <laughs> Don't yes. you think? Yeah, yeah. Tea time. Yeah. yeah, so from the tea time yeah. squad, we will be dancing. Let me show you some moves. Hey, get hey. it. You need a beat. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm the winner already. Let's do that. Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, man. So, guys, um, it's been amazing talking to you guys. And, um, yes, we're looking forward to Ali and Joe for you to hit the cinemas here in Nigeria. And um, we hope that happens really soon. And, yeah, so we'll just like you guys to just, you know, tell the people where they can find you individually in case anyone needs to check you up. And, you know, you never know, you could get a, a role in, in the Nollywood scene as well. I'm sure Autumn will like that. I'm sure Joshua will like that to be cast in a movie in Nigeria, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so just tell the people to. where they can find yeah. you real quick, please. On social media. Uh, yeah, you can find me on uh, oh, Instagram at uh, Joshua dot Pineda and then underscore. All right. And you can find me at Autumn, A-U-T-U-M-N-P-A-I on Instagram. All right. All right. And yes, yeah, Samuel Joe, your turn. You don't need the publicity. Yeah, yeah. basically, I, I'm, I, I'm a ninja guy, so you always find me. I'm with you. <laughs> but uh, Joshua is... <laughs> Joshua and Anton, they are represented by an agent. So if you if you need them in any of your movies or you want them uh, to, you know, uh, you, you have a project that you want them to future, um, you can contact uh, uh, the if you can contact Ife and um, I will be able to link you guys together. But you have to walk it through their agents and they will be able oh, to. Sure. I'm the Nigerian agent, ladies and, and gentlemen. Thank you. Talented. Contact me. <laughs> Naamali at. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. It's been amazing you. having a chat Thank with you. Much. And we're looking you. forward to Alejandro. And since we're going on the music break, can we just start with the Alejandro dance move? You know? Mm, of like course. That. Let's do this. And tea time, we'll be right back and we will be going on a music break. Stay with us. Thank you.